Well, after extracting three coolie loaches and two clownfishes from up in these holes here, which are a lot deeper than they look, they uh, <laughs> got the driftwood out. Unfortunately, much of the extraction was pull driftwood out of the water and let the fish flop out because they weren't coming out otherwise. But got my phoenix moss in today, so I'm going to uh, get that tied in place here. Pretty good bunch of fish here, about the size of a tennis ball, almost closer to a softball size here. Yeah, I'll get that in place. Oh, and a uh, handy little tool for the planted aquarist. Get yourself a little bit of this plastic mesh. I got mine on like joint fabric or Michael's or some fabric shop. It's uh, number five mesh, which means there's five squares per inch. Uh, and then just zip tied it together, cut a bottom piece, zip tied it on. Uh, it was very handy as I got the moss in today right before I had to leave for work. So I was able to unbox it, drop it in here, and then just drop this right to the tank. Suction cup it, therefore it was getting used to my water parameters, but it wasn't floating all over the tank. Uh, I've used this quite a bit for many different plants. And I just big enough I can reach my hand into the bottom grab whatever I need out, throw out whatever I don't want, right back in, let it sit in the tank until I do want it. It's a handy little thing to have. Four pound flushing line I use to attach as much as I hate trying to use fishing line because A is a pain to see, which is a plus once it's in the tank, but when you're trying to tie it and you're trying to figure out where the damn edges are, yeah, it's a pain then. Moss in place. Thank you, Idex, for hooking me up. Gave me a uh, about a tennis ball handful, and it wasn't fluffy. It was decently compressed of uh, fizzdens, phoenix moss, tied off in some spots. There's couple spots I tried the super glue method. Down in there, a couple spots there. Some of the spots where you can't really get a uh, bit of fishing line. I don't really care for the fishing line because you just see it for a long time if you know it's there. But once it attaches I can go through and snip a lot of it out, like the longer pieces right there. Retied my Anubis. There you use the uh, super glue you can sort of see a little white. For those that are curious, super glue is moisture activated. That is why when it touches your skin, it dries instantly. So when you go and you put it on driftwood, which is wet, uh, it sort of dries pretty quick. So make sure you get either a slow setting or a gel super glue. So you have a little bit more work time to work with. Uh, this I used the Loctite 10 second set gel. Get some up there, a little bit back on there. And over on this side, I have it I'm going up through the wood here. We'll pocket it down there. And some right there. This driftwood I plan on pulling out and cleaning up. Needs a uh, spritz of hydrogen peroxide to finish cleaning that blue green algae that is actually pretty much dead. It just has to be cleaned off. And I'm going to pull all this Christmas moss off that's not coming back. Leave the Anubis. There we go. A little greener. So far I haven't seen any crypt melt, but it's only day. One and a half, 